and i am on a mission called make india read to cultivate the habit of reading amongst the youth of india like you guys i know 70% of you can't see yeah, you, are, you have you are physically visually challenged and so i have an audio facility as well you can read or listen to the summaries in my voice all right because why i started this mission because of my one belief i believe in the power of reading habit i believe if i am not reading i am not changing and if i am not changing i am not growing and because of this strong belief i have a burning desire to cultivate the habit of reading amongst the youth of india and hence i am on a mission called make india read coming back to this idea of doing things differently okay as i said pressy writing was nothing different but i tried to give the summary in a different way through booklet app and suddenly i became a rare personality by combining two three skills i'll give you some more examples because why am i insisting on doing things differently is because of the inconvenient truth of your life and i'm very sure you have accepted this truth in the right spirit that you guys are different no matter what people say that no you are like any other uh, person but you are different and that's an asset because different people immediately stand out of the crowd normal people like me have to take special effort to arrest the attention of other people but you guys you have a blessing in disguise that you are already different there is a beautiful book called the purple cow <laughs> interesting name the purple cow uh written by seth godin so imagine there is a farm there are 20 30 cows okay and uh, and they are they are walking here they are grazing and but and you normally the color of the indian cow is like brown or dark brown yeah sometimes white suddenly you spot a purple cow in that crowd will not will not that cow arrest your attention immediately what purple cow wow <laughs> right you are already the purple cows yes or no isn't this amazing you don't need any marketing to to arrest the eyeballs you don't need to spend crores of rupees on advertising yourself the way coca colas and samsungs do okay so let's let's convert our weaknesses into strength i often have this habit of watching interviews of great people i watch lot of interviews normally most of my friends watch great people's performances you know we watch uh, michael jordan's performance in olympics we watch comedy mr bean and uh, charlie chaplin you know we all know i i'm sure you must have heard about mr bean but i'm sorry visually impaired people may not know mr bean because he does silent comedy but still i'll go with the story <laughs> but how many of you have watched the interview of mr bean if he is such a successful comedian in the world somebody must have interviewed him we don't do that we just stop at their performances and when i when i was watching the interview of mr bean he said that when i was a child you know my classmates schoolmates used to bully me because of my long nose very funny face big eyes but not exactly he used his weaknesses to become his strength and you know how he makes faces to make us laugh in his uh, comedy series yeah he did he did things differently he's not just like any other comedian